What a be shape team moves here. Here's my review for another Ron Howard film, another Ron Howard and Chris Hemsworth uh, collaborated film, and that is the 2014 film In the Heart of the Sea. Now, this film is pretty much a film about the author of Moby Dick, Owen Chase, and it takes place in 1820 where a uh, crewman, you know, led by Owen Chase, played by Chris Hemsworth, along with Benjamin Walker, Silly Murphy's character, who bore this New England uh, vessel, Essex. Uh, facing a harrowing battle for survival when a whale, you know, of the size of a mammoth, uh, and strange attacks uh, with force. You know, you also have uh, in the film. You also had the likes of uh, Brendan um, Gleeson, who portrays uh, this um, older version of Tom Nickerson, with Tom Holland portraying the younger version of uh, Nickerson. Uh, you also have uh, Ben Wishaw, who portrays uh, young Melville's um, in this film. I was actually, I was actually looking for a check this film out because you know it, it was a reteaming of um of Chris Hemsworth and uh, and Ron Howard who a year later who a year earlier did the movie uh, Rush which I really adored Rush, and so I was actually really interested to check, you know check out this new film that they were uh, doing in the Heart of the Sea. The trailers actually look really cool. So I, I remember watching this movie in theaters. I actually got released in 2015. Uh, I actually remember watching this the same day I saw The Big Short, by the way. I had a bit of a double feature of The Big Short and In the Heart of the Sea. And I loved The Big Short, but In the Heart of the Sea was one of the most boring movies I've seen that year. It got awful. It's definitely one of Ron Howard's uh, worst films. Probably his worst movie is Inferno, but one of his worst is definitely In the Heart of the Sea. It wasn't so good at all. Uh, I literally almost fell asleep while I, wa while I was watching this. It was not great. Uh, now, the visuals were stunning. The, whale, the look of the whale looked cool. I mean, I really did like the look of the whale. Uh, the film's budget was like a hundred um, million, and the box office was not good at all. Uh, let me pull up the box office results. Uh, box office. It made about ninety-three point nine million. It has like forty-three percent of Rotten Tomatoes. I'm not the only one who did not like this film at all. It's just not that good of a film. Uh, and between this and Black Hat. And, of course, Man in Black uh, International. It makes me wonder if Chris Hemsworth is really the major star we think he is. I mean, he's great as Dora, but sadly, some of his films, like, his best, like, non, uh, you know, Dora role is, of course, Rush. But his, like, you know, I, I do like Ghostbusters and uh, Vacation, but I'm not counting those because those are not his lead movies. I talk about his lead films. Between In the Heart of the Sea, Black Hat, Men, uh, Men in Black International, uh, Hemsworth has a really questionable, has really questionable film choices outside of the MCU, and this is definitely one that really showed it. It's not that good of a film at all, and sad to say, I can't recommend it. Anyway, uh, let me leave you guys. Have you ever seen In the Heart of the Sea? If so, what did you do of it? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Drop comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell for more notifications. This is Simu signing off.